Good morning, you guys. I have another short question for us today. If Christianity is true, why are so many atrocities committed in the name of Christ? This is a similar question to, if Christianity is true, why are there so many hypocrites in the church or something along those lines? Point being, uh, the truth or falsity of Christianity has absolutely nothing to do with anybody who believes it or not, with Christians or not. Something that's true or false stands true or false on its own ground and nothing further. Anyway, with that said, let's see what Hank Hanegraaff has to say. This is a classic smokescreen question often asked to avoid having to grapple with the evidence for authentic Christianity. At best, it involves a hasty generalization. At worst, it's a way of, quote, poisoning the well, end quote. Those are both informal fallacies in logic. To begin with, this question was anticipated by Christ, who long ago proclaimed that his followers would be recognized by the way they lived their lives, John 15, 8. Thus, to classify as Christian those who are responsible for instigating atrocities is to beg the question of who, dis who Christ's disciples are to begin with. In other words, it assumes what it's trying to prove. As Jesus pointed out, not everyone who calls him Lord is the real deal in Matthew 7. Furthermore, this question implies that Christianity must be false on the basis that atrocities have been committed in Christ's name. And that's the point. It doesn't follow. There is no reason, however, why we can't turn the argument around and claim that Christianity must be true because so much good has been done in the name of Christ. Think of the countless hospitals, schools, universities, and relief programs that have been instituted as a direct result of people who have the sacred name of Christ upon their lips. In either case, don't use that argument for or against Christianity. They're both irrelevant as to the truthfulness of Christianity. Finally, those who use this argument fail to realize that the validity of Christianity does not rest on sinful men, but rather on the perfection of Jesus Christ alone. Hebrews 7.26, 1 Peter 2.22. Moreover, the fact that professing Christians commit sins only serves to prove the premise of Christianity, namely, quote, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23, end quote. Thus all are in need of a Savior. For further study, see R.C. Sproul, Reasons to Believe, and Lee Strobel, Case for Faith, chapters 4 and 7. So, please uh, don't make the argument that uh, just because people do bad things in the name of a religion, therefore the religion must be false. That won't work against Islam. It doesn't work against Christianity. Nor is it true that so many Christians do good things, therefore Christianity must be true. That doesn't follow either, any more than it would for any other religion. So, I hope that's understandable. If you have any questions, please let me know. We'll talk to you later. See ya.